welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video here for you. I'm gonna try to get all fancy with this, but we will see how it goes. I am not a videographer. I just like creating videos for you guys. So we'll see how this goes. Today I wanna talk about five productivity tips to help you be more productive while working at home. Let's be honest, working from home is a complete blessing. I am so grateful that I've been able to work from home for over a year and a half now. That's insane. I have absolutely loved it. It has so many perks. I get to be home with my dog and take care of her all day so it's not like right after work I have to rush home and take care of her. I'm taking care of her all day so if Alex and I want to go out at night, we can go out at night. No big deal. Plus I'm really obsessed with my dog so just hanging out with my dog all day is amazing. She's lying on the floor right now. That's why I keep looking down. But it also has so many perks because I live in Rochester, New York, so it snows a lot. And when it snows, I do not like to drive. So the fact that I can just go walk downstairs and be in my office and get to work is the best thing in the world to me. Plus, when I have other plans that I have to do, like setting appointments, a hair appointment, a doctor appointment, whatever, it's nice to just be able to say, yeah, I work from home. I can be there whenever you need me. I don't have to schedule it around typical work hours, which even though some people work from home, they might have typical work hours. I'm a little bit different where I completely set my schedule, so I get to do whatever I want, which is awesome. So there are definitely so many perks to working at home, but it can be hard to find the motivation to work and to really be productive because when you're at home, there's a lot of distractions. I mean, there's always something you can clean, always something that you can clean. There's always something else you can be doing. There's a TV right in the other room. There's a fridge just a room away. I mean, there are so many distractions when you work from home. It's, <laughs> it's hard to bundle it up and explain how many distractions there really are while working from home. I mean, especially even if you have kids. I just have a dog, so she's not that much of a distraction. Mine is right now. She's kind of being a little pain in the butt. If you have kids at home, I can imagine that it's very distracting. So here are my five productivity tips to help you be more productive while working at home. Have a designated office. I absolutely love my office space. It is such a space of just inspiration for me and complete and utter joy. I love walking into this room. I designed it so that it matched all of my aesthetic and that whenever I could take a picture in here for Instagram, it would just fit my need, which I know not a lot of people would think about your pictures for Instagram, but I thought about it. I wanted this to match my feed and it's just, it's just an inspiration and it has so much creativity and love, but yet crisp, clean lines all in the same. And I, I'm obsessed with my office. I love it. So when I walk in here, I know it's time to get to work. I know that I'm going to sit down with my computer and do work. I don't just scroll on social media in my office. I don't just have fun in here. Really, this is my place where business gets done. If I was to work somewhere else like my kitchen table or my living room couch, I wouldn't be as productive as I am in my workspace. So having a workspace in your home, a designated workspace in your home is really important to eliminate all distractions. So one of my favorite things to do is to actually just remove your phone from your office at all. Don't bring it in your office. Make the door where the phones stop and you're not allowed to bring your phone in because let's be honest, phones are such a distraction from social media notifications to text messages and phone calls. There are a lot of distractions that come along with having a phone. So if you can just get it out of your office, it will really boost your productivity. But eliminating distractions goes beyond that. With my computer, I actually remove all notifications. I don't get notifications when I get an email. I don't get social media notifications. I don't get alert reminders, nothing. I end up checking my email only twice a day in the morning and at night. And I respond to emails then. Otherwise, most of the time, it's not an immediate, it's not a, I need to respond within the hour. Most of my clients can get a hold of me in other ways, not my email. So I try to limit that as much as possible. Social media notifications are a complete must get rid of. That's just an unnecessary distraction that you don't need. And any other distractions that you can limit from your office, go ahead and do that. Those are just a few of mine that I know I need to eliminate immediately and they are 
completely gone from my office space. Set work hours. So I am actually terrible with this. I am not very good to sticking with my work hours. Most of the time I like to say that I will work between 9 to 5. I don't get to work by 8 every morning. Typically it is actually 9 o'clock. I like to say that I will be at work 9 to 5, but then some nights I work until 9 o'clock at night. I try not to work too much later than 9. I have worked till midnight before, but when I work that late, I notice that I start dreaming about my work and that is bad for me. So if you have designated work hours, you know that you're supposed to be in your office at those hours getting work done. Outside those hours, you can do the other things around your house that you need to. So try to set a schedule and stick to it when possible. I know it's going to be hard, but it will be worth it. Create office rules. This is something I actually just did about a month ago. I set office rules for my office just to kind of outline what is allowed in this space, like from positivity to my work ethic to obviously no phones like we already talked about, but I just like having a list of office rules that kind of keep me in check. I also have this piece of artwork hanging on my gallery wall that just says be kind, work hard, stay humble, smile often, stay loyal, be honest, travel when possible, never stop learning, be thankful, and love always. So I consider that part of kind of like my mantra or even my office rules, my intentions for this space. So having that as well as office rules help me to stay in line with my focus for this room. And lastly, time yourself while you work. This is one of my favorite tricks that I love to use and that I love to tell people is to time yourself while you work. When you have a task you want completed, try to set a time limit for it. So when I'm writing blog posts, I like to say I will only take one hour to write the post and I will take one hour to edit and get it ready for launch. Much. but it just depends on the task. So when I am recording YouTube videos, so right now I'm recording YouTube videos, I am timing myself. I'm only allowing myself an hour to record and then I'll set a different time limit when it comes to editing those videos. So each task, I have a specific time limit set and I'm only allowed to work during that time. I can't get up and get a snack during that time. I can't even use the restroom. I know that might seem dramatic, but I won't allow myself to use the restroom during that time. That time is designated for working and working only. When my timer goes off and I I am done working then I will get up I will take a meaningful break for a couple minutes about five minutes and then I will get back to work but timing yourself really helps you to be productive because otherwise you can get lost in so many things if you say that you're gonna take a half hour to respond to all your emails and get your emails to zero you're probably going to be more productive than if you just say okay let's toggle this email list it might actually take you two hours to get done because you get distracted or you don't really stay on focus of the task so if you want to be productive I highly recommend timing yourself and that is it for for my five tips on how to improve your productivity while working from home. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos every Wednesday and Friday. So I will see you guys back here in another video. Bye guys. You're fancy. Do you not like it? Do you not like working from home? Fancy will be your tour guide now. What is this? Is this your rug? Do you like that rug? It's a nice rug. What about this? What's this over here? What's that? Is this your spot? Is that where Fancy hangs out? Oh, good girl, good demonstration. What is all this? Are these your toys? Oh, these are your toys? This is what really happens with Fancy in here. The toy's bigger than you, dude.